everyone in this video I'm going to explain about what exactly the rest bus simulation is all right so yes I guess most of you are working on the rest bus simulation but you may not aware of what exactly it is so let's give a, a lamentum example uh, you you are into the project to to create a robo all right robo this is a robo and this is uh, you I mean the software engineer all right so what he have to do is the he have to ensure the robot is doing good to communicate with the real world or uh, say for example with the application you are creating an application that to test whether how the how your robo is uh, really interacting with the application and for this application you are creating a dummy answers for some questions say for example what's your name if the robo asks, then the application has to answer Jack. It's a, it's a static name. Or you can give 10 names, 20 names. And you can program like you can give the random answer if you get the question, what's your name? Similarly, what's your age? You can mention any random age, like 25 or 30, whatever it is. Then where you're from, you can give again the random answer, like India, Germany, or Sweden or London whatever it is all right so here your main application as a software developer or the software engineer your main application is to program to the robot all right it's to the robot not to the application still you have to do this dummy application dummy application which in turn to at least to validate the basic check how your your re your actual application works in the robo all right so now what you are doing this dummy application is called a rest bus simulation in coming to the automobile like what we are in the exam the, the definition i can give you is see rest bus simulation involves creating a virtual representation of the ecus so in the in the previous example you are you have created the virtual representation of the application or human you are just created the human uh, you know virtually sim similar way the rest of the simulation involves creating a representation of ecus and the interaction on the vehicle communication network say for example again uh, if you are pressing your act pedal act pedal for this act pedal your RPM should be some say 3000 RPM then obviously you should have some software some application software to give the RPM is 3000 but if you don't have that then you can you can create some uh, virtual ECUs uh, that is if there is if for example if you're working on a BCM module or if you're working for the powertrain and if you want to know the response of the ACU or MCU motor control unit whatever it is so you can you can have a virtual representation and of course you don't want to spend much time on this because uh, nowadays we have so many vendors for that like it start from the D space or you know either says they had their own then car makers IPG so they have the all the most of the uh, tool providers for the automobile they have the virtual uh, environment with them so you can customize how you want so that's what on a single line I can and I can make you understand I mean for this all right this simulation allows engineers to test various scenarios so that's what I said the customization uh, and and however you want the model to be however you want the scenario to be yes you can do most of the things you can do most of the customization as per your scenarios and functionalities of the vehicle without need of physical issue that's what our main intention is rest bus is you can also remember so you are simulating the rest bus except the available bus system if you are working for the um, of say for example airbag control unit you have only airbag control unit as a um, as your software but you don't have a remaining stuff right so remaining system you don't have the what are the remaining stuff which is really required to make uh, the AC that is airbag control unit to validate so those 
can be considered as a REST bus. All right. So um, yes, then few components which really required. I mean, it's not like your components. These are all the stuff. Um, I mean, it's it's not really defined anywhere. But if you consider these four or the major one in REST bus, first is virtual ECUs. So the software based representation of actual ECUs found in a vehicles. So that's what I meant. If you are validating for the ACU, then you have to, uh, you should have uh, other ECUs as well. So that's what here it's mentioned as a uh, virtual ECU. Then each virtual ECU simulates the behavior of its real counterpart, including sending and receiving message over the network. So yeah, this is what the uh, actual um, dependency of the REST bus simulation. So here it's not only uh, the sending and receiving, also the timing matters. Say for example, if A is a system you are working on and B, C, D are the virtual issues. So your, your requirement says you are sending the request A to B on initial request. As soon B responds to your request, then your own software should respond within 100 milliseconds. So for that, your virtual issues really required. And if you want to check the bus system uh, transmission latency, then yes, you should you should get the information from the C that in what time this message received. So how long it took really to receive to see of course in real network you should have the proper software flash for b c d but as it is a rest bus simulation and you are focusing only for only your own uh, software you are developing uh, for a single ecu then this will be helpful all right then communication simulation yeah the rest bus simulation software simulates the communication such as can bus lin bus ethernet flex ray whatever within the vehicle so it handles the transmission messages between virtual ECU and simulate the network conditions like latency that's what I meant so latency and the loss yeah this is one of the important so, so while transmitting the signal you, you should have a two important uh, you know uh, parameters to be verified one is the data either the guy the ECU A is sending a data to B did he receive the data original data did he receive or uh, corrupted data or how how the data is so first you have to validate the data second is the time that is latency so that's what then scenario generation is engineer can define the test scenarios including specific easy behaviors network conditions environmental factors so whatever you want if you really go with some vendors yes then you'll have a separate uh, easily customizable options yes you can do that so it's it's literally you can say it's a model in most of your project here you may use models right so the models is all about the scenario generation so these scenarios help validate the functionality and performance of the vehicle is used under various condition various condition is nothing but maybe the road up uh, gradient is uphill downhill or it's a glacier or it's a mud surface it's a normal road condition mm, yeah that's all about the environmental factors or various conditions and various condition is also failure failed condition so whatever it is most of the things you face in your rear vehicle can be simulated in the scenario generation so this uh, probably can be a model and the last step is the data logging and analysis so what are the two whatever you are doing obviously you will be recording that it may be in any format or it may be in uh, videos or pictures even everything can be yes possible all right so that's all about the rest bus simulation i hope you learn something new i will get back to you in the next video until then bye take care